An issue that I'm constantly faced with as I receive emails from many of you is the difference between a mediator and a moderator. And so I thought I'd make a video to just explain the differences and uh, how we can know. So a mediator is the reason for the effect the IV, this one, has on the DV. Uh, for example, the reason curiosity impacts learning is because curiosity creates discovery, and it's discovery that leads to learning. Now, a moderator is very different from that. Uh, a moderator is just to contextualize the effect. So curiosity impacts learning. We understand that. There's some positive effect there. But this effect right here is different when you have more or less distractions. So in the presence of few distractions, curiosity can lead to a lot of learning. In the presence of a lot of distractions, even if you have curiosity, not much learning might take place. So we would say that distractions dampen the positive relationship between curiosity and learning. Now how do I know if it's a mediator or a moderator? Um, I'm going to skip this slide and go to this one. Uh, there is some rigid criteria, so you will always know if you've got it right. A mediator must be the causal result of the IV and must be the causal antecedent of the DV, meaning the IV must cause the mediator and the mediator must cause the DV. Uh, if we're going to use causal determinant, deterministic uh, language, I'm using it loosely here. Um, but in essence, uh, one must cause the other, must cause the other. Whereas with a moderator, the moderator must not be the causal result of the independent variable. If it is, then it's a mediator, not a moderator. So, applying this rigid rule, let's look at the following here. So, we're going to say that exercise leads to weight loss, right? And the more you exercise, the more weight you lose, per se, or some say. Uh, so let's take a look at all, all of these five here and figure out if they're a mediator or a moderator. Exercise leads to weight loss because of caloric intake. Well, could that be a mediator or a moderator? The question you have to ask is, does exercise have any direct impact on caloric intake, i.e. how much you eat? The answer is yes, it does. The more you exercise, the hungrier you're going to be, and so the more you're probably going to eat. Um, and so caloric intake must be a mediator. It cannot be a moderator. Let's look at well-being. Does exercise lead to well-being? Well, yeah, it should have some direct impact on well-being. Typically, the more you exercise to a certain extent, uh, the better off you are uh, psycho or emotionally, psychologically, physically. And so uh, we could say it does have an effect on well-being. Now, whether that has an effect on weight loss is another matter. What about gender? Exercise. Can exercise lead to gender? Uh, no. No, that's, that's fixed when you're born. Uh, you have a gender or a sex or whatever you want to call it. You have manly parts or womanly parts. Um, and that won't be affected by exercise. So gender cannot be a mediator. It must be a moderator question is, does exercise work differently on weight loss for men versus women? Uh, I'll let you argue that. What about age? Can exercise lead to age? This is numeric years of existence. The answer is no. Age exists completely separate from exercise. Now, there is some you know, perceived age or, or, or health age or body age or whatever you want to call it, which is different from numeric years uh, of existence. But because age cannot be impacted by exercise, uh, it must be a moderator. What about prior weight? Can exercise change your prior weight, your weight prior to exercising? The answer is obviously not. Uh, that can have no effect uh, on prior weight. So, uh, because it happened before, right? Prior weight happened before the exercise. Uh, so prior weight must be a moderator, or in this case, maybe a control variable, um, if it doesn't have uh, some uh, transformative effect on the effect between exercise and weight loss. So again, that's how you determine if something is a mediator or a moderator. You look to see, can it be the causal result of the independent variable? If it can be, then it is not a moderator. It is probably a mediator. If it cannot be the causal result of the, media, of the independent variable, then it cannot be a mediator. It is probably a moderator or maybe a control variable. I hope that clarifies.